Now's the time to check if you have the necessary tools to install a pre-varnished hardwood floor. A well-equipped do-it-yourselfer will be up to the task. Now the cutting tools are the same whether you glue, nail down, or use a floating installation. A wood chisel, a head saw, and a circular saw will do the trick. However, borrowing your brother-in-law's portable bench saw and your neighbor's meter saw at the cost of a few beers, maybe, will speed up the job considerably. A chalk line, a flat crowbar, a carpenter square, a hammer, a driving punch, and a tape measure will round out the basic toolkit you'll need. For engineered wood for floating installation, a utility knife and the manufacturer's installation kit must be added. If you're going the glue route, add a trowel, a 100-pound roller, duct tape, and the appropriate glue to your kit. Now remember, applying glue will erode the trowel's teeth, so you have to figure a new trowel every 400 square feet. For nail or staple down installation, you must also add wood glue. We highly recommend renting or buying an air nailer or stapler specially adapted to the task, along with a finishing nailer for the first and last rows and the baseboard and the shoe moldings. Not only do these tools do the job faster, they also guarantee a much better result. It may seem obvious, but don't forget your nails. The right amount of nails, rather. The rule of thumb is simple, five to six nails per square foot. So a 400 square foot room will need a minimum of 2,000 nails. And if the room is generally humid, you'll need to use more.